Hey guys, I'm Melanie. Welcome back to my art studio. Today I'm going to show you how to take this picture and put it here. Ta-da! This is a really cool trick called photo transfer. Um, this is actually not a photo. It's a bitmoji of me. Aren't I cute? <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we're quite literally going to take this picture and we're going to put it here. And it is kind of a trick and you don't have to tell people how you did it. So what you need to do this is you need a little tape and it's always good to have an eraser and a pencil sharpener. Uh, an ebony pencil, very important, and a ballpoint pen. So, photo transfer is used for a lot of different purposes. One of the best things it's used for is learning how to do a self-portrait. What? I know that sounds weird, but it is the best way to understand how your face is put together. Um, and it kind of takes away the fear of doing a self-portrait. So basically, it is the same thing as using this, but it's actually a photograph of yourself. It's also used if you are doing a painting of a famous artist or any picture that you want to use, you can use that, a smaller copy of a picture you can find on Google and do the very same thing that we're gonna do here might all sound confusing, but after we're done with this, I'm sure you'll say, oh yeah, I get it now. Okay, so we're gonna start by turning our picture over, and this is going to become one of your most important tools. Uh, it's a very soft ebony pencil. Uh, it It's um, easy to color on your picture. So you're gonna push down with your finger like this and you're gonna cover the whole back of the paper. And if you ever remembered using carbon paper or copy paper, blue paper, blue transfer paper, this is sort of the same thing, but it's cheap and you can do it all the time. So you gotta make sure it's dark enough and huh, there goes my lead. That's why we have a pencil sharpener. This should work. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to turn our picture over. Now we're gonna use the tape. Because we don't want it to slide around. Tape it down. And then we're gonna take our ballpoint pen because it's you don't want a real sharp point, but you do want one that's hard enough that you can press down. And now you have to pick out the lines that you want and you try and keep your hands off of it as much as possible. So you're just gonna go around and trace. Now I'm going to lift up, but I'm going to hold down one side, see what I've got so far. You can see how it's transferring. And I'm going to put down, take that, take that one. Very simple to do, uh, very cheap to do. I made a print out of this on my printer, so that's it. 
Now you can make the same kind of pictures with all sorts of things. Have fun.